Hi, I'm Rob Bogue, a Microsoft MVP for the last 14 years, and I want to talk to you about a common question which compares apples to oranges. Well, that is SharePoint on-premises to SharePoint online. I'll explain the differences whether you're trying to decide how to get started with SharePoint or you're deciding whether to add online to your SharePoint experiences. SharePoint deployments have been happening for more than 15 years now, and they provide deep integration into the business that allow unrestricted development of code that runs on the SharePoint server itself. This ability to deeply embed SharePoint into the systems your organization runs on can make it a mission-critical system. Change sensitivity is another reason to use SharePoint on-premises. If you need to control precisely the changes that occur to your environment for regulatory or some sort of validation reasons, you can completely control the patch and update cycles for your on-premises servers. This is the Apple Pie version of SharePoint that we've always known. Rich documents and deep data services with the opportunity to perform deep integrations into the organization. These integrations sometimes create resistance to change or update. And at other times, the organization itself restricts the changes that can be made in SharePoint for other regulatory or user reasons. Another option that we can use to leverage the power of SharePoint is SharePoint Online, a part of the Office 365 suite of products. However, SharePoint Online adds more to the SharePoint platform than just not having servers on premises. Having SharePoint Online external to the organization has the advantage of allowing you to invite others to collaborate and share with you. With precise control of site collections that can have external users, anonymous users, and which ones can't, you've got the power to collaborate internally, externally, and anonymously. SharePoint Online offers your team the first chance to see new solutions, including solutions that will eventually be available to you on-premises, and some that won't. New tools like Dell make it easier to see what the people closest to you are working on. Instead of searching to find information, information is surfaced to you. You'll get a glimpse of the worlds of your colleagues, well, if they're willing to share the things that they're working on with you. Dell flips search on its head and makes it easier for you to stumble upon or find information. New collaboration experience is powered by Groups and teams bring together email, SharePoint, and instant messaging experiences. Collaboration has been at the heart of SharePoint since the start, and these new Office 365 features couple the power of SharePoint with the power of Exchange and new solutions that are designed to eliminate barriers to work getting done and collaborating. Team productivity solutions like Planner allow you to manage the work teams do together by providing a way to manage tasks across sites. It's more than just loose collaboration, it's collaboration with a purpose, the purpose of getting things done. The SharePoint choice is not an either or decision between implementing on-premises solutions with deep integrations and legacy support and complete control of the server or the effortlessness and updates of the rapidly growing suite of Office 365 solutions designed to make collaboration better. Sometimes you can make fruit salad that includes both apples and oranges.